Hi everyone. So to, um, this week I'm going to be showing you all um, about my writing process and how everything is going. Um, sorry for the setup because this week I'm off from work. So um, yeah, but other than that, I think this week is going to be good because I'm going to have a little bit more time to write. I mean, I'm trying to write, but it's not going that well. But, um, from, I mean, Monday, but I'm going to document my progress from Tuesday going on word until at least Saturday so that I can show you that all the progress that I've made. So from Project Beautiful, I'm at 2000 words roughly. So I want to be at least by 10,000 words or more by the end of this kind of week, but I don't know, like, Pray for me that I can at least get to that amount in the end of the week because I know it's doable. I just have to sit down and be disciplined and do what I have to do. But as far as Project Odor is going, I haven't started that and I know I probably won't. Maybe I'm not motivated enough to like start that project, but I know it's going to, I know that I'm probably going to finish it after Camp NaNoWriMo, but, um, from my beginning of Camp NaNoWriMo, I have 2,000 words for Project Beautiful, so I'm trying to get more than that. I want to hit my goal of 20,000 words, but, you know, it's going to take a lot of work because I'm I, I'm working and stuff like that, but I'm going to keep trying to at least pull out my iPad and do my work. Um, As far as my editor goes, she has my manuscript and she said it should take eight weeks to um to bring it back or even less hopefully but um yeah and then my graphic designer has my book cover design but I don't have it yet so hopefully everything works out fine with that um yeah there's no there's no two minor minor uh major updates I mean but I am reading a book called um by Yad um, Jesse, I think her name. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. I know she's Ghanaian though, but um, it's called Homegoing, and I know it follows two sisters who one gets sold into slavery and the other one gets to live a, um, a comfortable life. But um, I'm gonna update you on that book as well and tell you how I like the book. So far, the book is good. I'm. I just have to say that it's um. It's starting off good. Like the girl, Afia, she is not really good for her because her mother, um, Baba, treats her not so nicely and doesn't really like, isn't the uh, most warming, warm, what's the word I want to say? Isn't the most empathetic mother towards Afia. And she uh, makes her hide that she's having her period which I don't understand maybe she's maybe she's doing it for her own good so she doesn't get married off too early but she's 15 and I don't know if if that's customary for people at in the 1700s to get married at 15 but um yeah that that happens and yeah so I don't know but um I'm just hoping that the book gets better from here so thank you all for watching my video and keep on watching it until the end. Hi everyone. So how, hopefully everybody's doing well and fine. I just wanted to know what is your working space that you work in? Like when you write your books and stuff, what is the working space? Is it like on your dining room table or on your um bed in your bed that you type when you feel inspiration? Because for me, I, I find inspiration when um, randomly. Sometimes I'll just write on my phone app, on my phone notes app, and just start writing. But other times, like, I, I write in my on my dining room table. I know it's not the most aesthetically pleasing setup, but um, I try my best to, like, clear out everything that needs to be clear out from the table that I'm worked up space that I'm working in and I just try to write so I don't know and how do you guys get inspiration from your characters because I still want to know because for me I just get random inspiration from experiences that I had in my life 
and some uh, and then some experiences that other people might have had or some things that I magically just come up with in my head. So I just wanted to know. Um it's it's been a long challenge for me to like write is a not long a hard challenge for me to write because sometimes I find myself being discouraged and feeling like my writing is not the best or maybe nobody wants to read my stuff but I'm going to keep on going and get over my fears of writing and get over myself and and put positive positivity in my life to tell myself like hey Mary you can do this even if you think that you can't so yeah Another thing I wanted to know is how do you find the um the names for the characters that you want to have in your book? Because for me, I always go on the internet and search up names to look for. And I always find some names that are, are strikingly interesting for me to, like, use. But I don't know, like, is is there, like, some name, baby name websites that you guys go on? Because am I the only one who does that? Because I do that. And I think that it's very fun to do um to look for names especially names within the culture and the time period that you you're writing in so I always find it so interesting to do those type of stuff um other than that I think I find inspiration sometimes from from my own self I'm like huh let, let me make this character this way and then I find inspiration for that character and I write their names down but I don't know so just let me know how do you find inspiration for the names of the characters? So hi everyone. Um, I am plotting for Project Beautiful. I had to cover up the title with my pen because I didn't want you all to see the title just as yet. But um, it's Project Beautiful. I'm trying to like plot down some of the scenes and in, in the book and see if I like it and want certain things changed around from the beginning. But um, other than that, I'm pretty fine. Um, I am I the only one who loves buying school supplies because I love buying new school supplies every time um, I get the chance I'll buy a new pair a new a new pencil or a new pen colorful pens and today I got in tool pens and they they write nicely so yeah I don't mind me geeking out about <laughs> school supplies but um, I really like um, buying new stuff because it gives me more inspiration to write so i'm reading um home going by yad jesse and this book is so sad for me like not sad but like it's it's really it's really telling how the mom baba is treating afia and it's not it's not right like the mom wants her to hide that she has um, her period from the people and then she doesn't want her to marry a, bie a bieku which I think his name is but um I think that's really upsetting to me because like she shouldn't be treating her daughter that way and she wants to marry off her daughter to a white man so I, I think this was her plan all along so hi everyone um I'm just gonna update you on and tell you about if I if I did end up getting 10,000 words in for my project, beautiful. But um, the answer is no, I didn't. Um, I'm still at 2,626, 28 words. So that's still a little, but I still have the whole month to get to 20,000. So I should try and do my best to get um, that amount in that time frame. But yeah, everything is gonna look well. I I spent my time for the week off that I had relaxing and doing what I um what I wanted to do. So hopefully next week or even today or tomorrow I can update you and let you know that I've at least gotten one thousand words more or two thousand words more. But other than that, um I just wanted to let you know that I finished my um book Jar of Positivity. I finished going over it and looking for, and getting more details from it so it can inspire me and yeah um i've i've done some stuff in the book right now 
well not right now but in the past it was it's a 21 day devotional meant to help you to live life to the fullest and to be more um empathetic to yourself and be more happier in your everyday life so if you're interested in this book jar of positivity i'll have it in the description box below um it's only 3.99 for kindle and i think it's better off that you get the paperback so you can write stuff inside the book and you can highlight and stuff like that but other than that everything is good so i'm gonna update you more about my project beautiful as the time progresses and yeah thank you for watching my video in this clip you see me showing you the the word count that i have for right now i have four four thousand and three words which is not a lot but it's something and i thought i was gonna i was so over ambitious that i thought i was gonna get to 10,000 words in the by the end of the week because I had a week off, but some things happen and I'd rather just relax than do work, but writing is not really work for me. It's really fun, so I want to do it whenever I have fun or free time, but anyways, I'm, I'm happy with the progress that I made and I'm proud of myself, so I'm going to keep going and keep pushing. I just decided to show you all my hair about me styling my hair. I don't know if that's something that you want me to incorporate in my writing vlogs, me doing other stuff besides writing. But um, I just wanted to show you my hair and how it looks. Um, I think I did a good job. And I think that is really nice, the style that I did it. I use, I'm going to show you all the products that I use in the in the video. And hopefully you like it. Um, let me know what um, products you use on your hair, and what things that you what 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 products works good for your hair. My hair is type four hair. Some parts are looser curls in the back, but I don't know. I feel like I I'm experiencing some thinning. So let me know what products I can use to help with the thinning out of my hair. And also, if you're interested in my videos and stuff and you want to see more from me give my videos a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and share it with your friend and comment down any emojis heart emojis of any color and tell me what is the highlight of your week